Hello everyone and welcome back. We had a long vacation planned for this month at Cochin and while I was really looking forward to it, traveling with two kids got me thinking how to go about it. For Karthik, it was partly a work trip and also the stay was longer, so I decided to have a set routine during this vacation to make the most out of this break. and make it as memorable as we could for all of us it is not our first time at kochi with a very few touristy things to do the main objective of this vacation was to give mind and body a very relaxed time away from every hustle of life basically a reminder to mind to slow down and live into the moment Enjoy those small things that are usually missed. Listen to the noises which are usually ignored and enjoy the sights that are there but often taken for granted. I had a long break from home making during this vacation, but still I had set a few priorities for this trip. Self-care in any form, Ruthvi's holiday homework, and shopping a few things that i wanted specifically from cochin along with a lot of quality time with family were really the major agenda of this time so we kept our outings minimum and made this whole trip more like a staycation Since we knew we were traveling with two small kids, we took care of a couple of things in advance. Number 1, choosing the time and day of flight according to my kids' routine. Number 2, I packed as per my priority list, making sure that important things occupies the first space in the luggage. And number 3, we coordinated with airlines and took airport infant assistance which helped us giving the priority during check-in security checks and boarding small actions like this really makes a lot of difference in saving time and energy especially when we are traveling with kids First thing I do once I reach the vacation spot is to unpack my luggage, organize everything that I carry and give all of my stuff a dedicated space. This is a small habit I picked up before marriage when I used to travel a lot for my work requirements. And I'm glad that I have stuck to this habit as it really saves me from struggling through any Pandora box. Especially after kids when the number of items increases it becomes really difficult to live out of a bag and waste time searching for small things every now and then even if just for 2 days when things are kept at dedicated spaces it saves a lot of time and effort which can otherwise be utilized for good daily necessities laptops and electronic gears our valuables and other daily items get a dedicated space
food is always a main concern with kids and so i also carry my own travel rice cooker and some ready to eat food items to be able to make something quickly if need be as i said I came with proper planning and made sure that my kids needs are fulfilled well. I never shy away in asking for the basic requirements for kid which can help in having a convenient stay for all of us. I bought the CCTV camera that I double up as baby monitor and took help from hotel staff to install it. This gave us adults a lot of free time while also making sure that kids are safe and under our watch. So during breakfast time I and Ruthvi would usually go together to enjoy the first meal of the day while Karthik would babysit Dhairya Continuing the planning for kids I also asked the hotel to allow me for carrying Dhairya's food in a separate lunch box in room as otherwise he gets distracted and stay cranky the whole time So I would carry a tiffin to pack Dhairya's breakfast and feed him in the room only he usually starts his day with banana and prefers to eat his breakfast a little later this made sure that both my kids are eating nicely and well fed without any distractions and stays joyful the entire day Once I and Ruthvi are done, Karthik would take his turn and this way we both can actually have a hearty breakfast. This tiffin helps in keeping the food warm till Dhere eats it. Small attempts to avoid a cranky kid, especially during a vacation. Once there is breakfast is done I would settle down in the room a little bit to finish our morning rituals while hotel room cleaning still has time I prefer to do some basic cleaning myself as I feel uncomfortable leaving a room in a bad condition for the hotel staff to clean and as I'm doing my things I also bought a few items for kids to stay busy within the room Morning is the time when I'll also sit with Ruthvi to work on her holiday homework. Although we were on a vacation, but among all the fun, I didn't want to disturb her daily study routine. I made sure that I bought all the relevant notebooks and give minimum 30 to 40 minutes time to her studies. I would also multitask this time to do some self-care. I don't even remember when was the last time I had applied a face pack. These small things help in reinforcing the idea of a break and make this feeling of vacation even more enjoyable. After getting ready, I and kids would usually step out to take a break from the room while it gets clean. Karthik would proceed for his work while I'll take both the kids out into a play zone. While selecting a holiday stay, we also looked for amenities that can help in keeping kids engaged in many ways. A play zone in any holiday stay is a blessing to keep kids away from TV for long. Although I do carry some in-room activities for them, but a bigger space like a play zone definitely brings more fun. Kids really look forward to their time at play zone every single day. I also sit with them and feel happy exposing them to some new things. 
This play area helped in keeping kids busy for good one to one and a half hours before we would break for lunch. I would also double up this time to sneak out and bring my work in the play zone itself. We all eat lunch together, although with Dhere it used to get a bit challenging. But of course, we would also like to have at least some meals together as a family. I was keeping my diet balanced all these days. At times, I would go only with salads, or at times, a three-course meal used to be my calling. My curious cooking bug kept on exploring new dishes in the buffet. So much so that I also learned a few salad recipes from the chef himself. Can't wait to create them once I head back home. Especially for the comfortable sleep of kids, we asked for a play pan for Dhere from hotel and extra bedding for Ruthvi. This made sure that kids are tucked in in their respective places and gets a good sleep in afternoon and night. Evenings after small naps were quite energetic and to contain that energy we dedicated that time for some planned activities. While some days it was about exploring the city on other days it will just be about staying in the hotel and enjoying what was available. Hotel also had an outdoor play area and breezy evenings made kids enjoy this place even more. It is usually in the late evenings when the entire family will enjoy a little pool session every single day. Ruthvi showed a great interest into swimming and that kept me thinking that I should enroll her into some training in the coming years. On a lighter note, this session would make kids very hungry and tired enough to sleep instantly. So after spending a fun time into the pool, kids would get super hungry and proceed for dinner. Right before tucking the kids to sleep, we would take a night walk around the hotel property. The sound of calm sea, especially during night, is very relaxing. Ruthvi also made a new friend during our stay there and it doubled up her fun during this vacation. Even though we were in a new setup, Few activities remained constant, like a book reading session for Ruthvi before sleeping. I wanted to introduce Indian mythology to her, so I selected these two good reads for her in this vacation. Change in topics every now and then really helps in giving a lot of food for thought to the kids and helps in building their interest and curiosity towards that topic. Some days we eat dinner together, but whenever kids would like to sleep early, Karthik and I would delay our dinner a bit and eat later. And that's when the baby monitor came really handy. We were able to have our dinner while also keeping in constant eye, making sure that the kids are sleeping safely. I would usually go easy on my dinner and eat light. I love salads and so trying new salad varieties at the hotel used to be the best part of every meal time. This little break from the monotony really helped us getting closer as a family and making great memories. I feel that vacations should not always be about doing things constantly and ticking the touristy things off the bucket list. But it is also about having the sense of taking some break from the otherwise mundane routine and redefining a few things for better. 
although we would avoid anything post dinner but her good coffee just helped in extending these good moments small planning during the vacation really helps in giving good returns with a well advanced planning i was quite able to manage a good routine during vacation for kids and ourselves and fulfill as much as we aimed for what we intended to do how we wanted our days to pass by why we wanted this vacation were few questions we answered before even heading out for this break and i believe we made full justice to our vacation this time i hope you enjoyed watching this vacation vlog let me know your idea of a good vacation in a comments below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join me on instagram for some real life updates and i'll see you in my next video until next time stay tuned and stay connected